Gio, what are you doing? Don't worry, I'm gonna do my party kickboxing class later. Ah! Welcome back to another episode of Diaries of the Drunken Dumbbell with Gio and Dai. Today, we're going to be following up on our last session about cardio. So, Gio here thinks that he can be eating a bunch of donuts and then go take his cardio kickboxing class, and he's going to burn all the calories down. This is a big foul. So, this is not just Gio. There are a lot of people who have that misconception that if you do all of this exercise, if you do all this cardio, you'll be able to eat whatever. So the problem with this line of thinking is you end up spinning your wheels. So you end up like doing all of this extra exercise, cardio. If you're truly interested like in your health and well-being and losing weight, you want to focus on adding a proper strength training routine. A lot of times people will rely on just solely doing a cardio routine and then expect that they're gonna burn all of these calories and then ultimately lose. No! <laughs> if you remember what we talked about last week on Diaries of the Drunken Dumbbell, it's the cardiovascular system that services the muscular system. It's not the other way around. Pay it. So when you strengthen the muscular system, the cardiovascular system is gonna have no choice but to follow suit. It's gonna have no choice but to actually improve. Here's the problem with any type of exercise, especially cardio or aerobic activity. In order to burn one donut, you're going to need to do that activity for hours. You're going to be having to do a whole lot of activity to burn those calories that you keep stuff in your face with. In truth, exercise only accounts for about 20% of your success when you're looking to lose weight. What you truly need to be focusing on is diet, calorie reduction, portion control, the quality and quantity of your foods. And again, I'm going to remind you, I'm not here to villainize cardio. Find something that you're going to enjoy doing. Find a cardiovascular or aerobic activity that's going to be fun for you. So along with finding something that you enjoy, incorporate a solid strength training routine because this is what's going to allow your body to build more muscle which in turn will then speed up your metabolism because having more muscle on your body actually requires your body to burn more calories. So incorporating a strength training program and putting on more lean body mass will actually be more effective than doing some type of cardiovascular activity on a daily basis. When it comes to weight loss, think about it this way. Your exercise only accounts for 20% of your success. Diet Think about your exercise being like the foundation of a house. It's only 20% of that entire structure, but it's a really important part. So, and think about your diet as like the rest of the house, which makes up like 80%. But if you don't have a really strong foundation, your whole house is going to come crumbling down. So I don't want you to completely negate that exercise is not a really important factor. It totally is. But working on your diet is key. So if you want to keep spinning your wheels and doing cardio every day for an hour a day and then think that you can eat whatever you want, it's not going to work. So doing excessive cardio like on a daily basis can actually be counterproductive. It can cause more harm than it does good. It can actually eat away at your muscle mass. And remember, it's the muscle that actually helps to improve your metabolism. That's what actually helps you to burn more calories throughout the day. So doing high amounts of aerobic activity could actually cause harm to the body and you can end up getting injured. So you want to be careful with doing excessive amounts of cardio for exercise. When it comes to activity, find something that you're going to enjoy. Something like dancing or going running or doing cycling, whatever. Something that you really enjoy. What you want to try to avoid is relying on that recreational activity to be your sole means of exercise. Your exercise should be a meaningful strength training routine to where you're applying progressive resistance for, to the body so that way you're stimulating lean muscle growth. 
Thanks again for watching Diaries of the Drunken Dumbbell with Gio and I. Be sure to tune in next week for another episode to find out how we find the time to exercise. Oh, and remember, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Snapchat at Humanities. Machito, where's your mother? Die!